Hey guys, welcome back to my weekly vlog. It is now Tuesday. I took this week slow and did not vlog at all on Sunday and Monday because one, I'm still sick. So two, I am extremely, extremely tired. And while I'm trying to keep up on these vlogs, I still want to like give myself a little break. On Sunday was Father's Day, so we went to my parents' house and had dinner with my family. And on Monday, it was basically like second Father's Day, so we went down to Irvine to spend it with Roy's family. And today, I am gonna catch up on work, but mostly I'm gonna back up my old iMac. I've had this iMac since 2010, so it's been over nine years since I've had that computer. I'm actually really impressed that it lasted this long. Um, it slowed down slowly over the years. It still worked, but it slowed down a lot, so I haven't been utilizing it that much. I do have a MacBook Air, but that isn't good for what I need it for. It's really not great when editing videos, editing photos, doing graphic work. It's just like, it's not a good computer for that. It's meant for like emails and like being light. I have been putting off buying a new desktop until now because I feel like at this point, it's impossible to do any work without it. And yeah, it's very expensive, but with Roy's help, because he is the best, I finally got a new iMac. So it's coming today, I'm gonna set it up, and I'm gonna be able to work way more efficiently than I have been. It's definitely gonna be making my life a lot easier, that is for sure. I won't have programs crashing, I won't have it just sitting there spinning forever. It's actually gonna be able to render stuff properly. I'm also having Disa upgrade my RAM, so I got 32 gigs of extra RAM that she's gonna put in for me as well. As far as looking at the rest of the week, it's probably gonna be a really slow week because I'm still sick. I think I'm like just over the worst part of it. It's been about a week and a half, but I'm still not better. I think, I think maybe I'm just like slowly going back up now finally. So this week, I am probably gonna be spending a lot of time at home. I still do need to work, which I am totally not in the mood for. I have like so much pressure in my face and it makes my head hurt and it makes me, it makes it really hard to concentrate. But yeah, this vlog will probably be really slow and chill, mostly about my computer. I'm probably gonna like sort of reorganize my office desk situation. So maybe I'll get a little bit of that in. All right, time to get today going. Chad, can you move please? Chad, get down please. Thank you. Right now I'm trying to go through this whole computer and save things that I want to save. I have like nine years worth of stuff on it. So trying to figure out what I want to transfer, what I want to get rid of, and then also just sort of working on the side. Super excited because my new computer just got delivered today. Just put the computer down. From the front, it actually looks the same, but obviously it is like significantly thinner. It's so thin, so it's actually easy for me to carry it. The chunky one's a bit harder for me to carry. Checking it out, Chet Jen? <laughs> you don't fit. So I'm editing on the new computer, and let me tell you this thing is amazing, way better than trying to edit on this. Um, yeah, it's working out so well. And usually I edit on Adobe Premiere, but I am editing on DaVinci Resolve, which is essentially a free version similar to Premiere. And I've tried it out for the past two videos. I'm gonna keep going to see if I like it, um, it's not as intuitive or as easy as Premiere, but so far, so good. And it's free. Really, Chad Chad? I go down to grab some tea and you steal my seat. Now that I have my new computer, I just took my desk down to like the bare minimum, at least on top, and I think I'm gonna try to decorate it because I got some new stuff. A lot of space over there. So in here is just like storage. And up here, I usually keep it empty because this is where Chad likes to sit if I'm working, otherwise he'll sit like on me. Look at what I just found. My old Game Boy. Dang. Keeping that forever. So I got this new neon cat from my sister, so I'm gonna try it out and see if it'll look good on my desk. 
thing is pretty cool. Boom. I thought it might be too big, but I actually think it works okay. I also have another light up cat that I want to put on here. It's really cute. I also got this as a gift. Apparently people think I like light up cat things, which they are not wrong. Oh my God, it changes color. Whoa. <gasps> this is cool. Wow, very cool. I have like a club going on at my desk. I also put something practical, pens, pencils, and here's where I usually just put business cards. This pencil gives me life though. It says my soulmate is a piece of bread. This is from Jack's brand. I'll link it below. I also have more pens and stickers and stuff for my planner in the drawers. Practical things. I also have this really dead air plant that I forgot about. I was watering it for a while and then I forgot it's for my sister. And Chad also likes to chew on the leaves, so now it's dried. Is it too much? And this pen is one I've never used. It used to be Jenny's, but I like how fancy it feels and it's cool. I've always wanted one like this, so it stays. This is a really cool metal photo that Jenny and Xander got me when they were living here and they got this for me when they went to Vegas without me. <laughs> I also used to have this flotsam and jetsam on my desk, but I think I'm gonna put it in the case. Um, this I got from Jenny, which is hilarious because we used to say that this is us. I'll make it so it could stare at me while I'm working. So I'm gonna keep my desk pretty minimal because I'm gonna probably be putting stuff on it like my laptop and my planner and Chad likes to sit up here too while I'm working so I have like this much space and he like spans the whole thing. So gotta keep that in mind. And my little corner with stuff. I need to take a break from work and I have been craving chocolate like crazy. So I got this chocolate spread from Yasuna and Keita for my birthday and it looks so good. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm just gonna put it on some thick white bread and that's just gonna be a little dessert snack. Happy Friday. Friday on my cleaning the house days, which means I also put on a face mask while I'm cleaning since I have time to hydrate my face. So my favorite face masks are actually these. These are from Nature Republic. They are the hydrogel masks and they're super hydrating for my skin. Um, so I really enjoy them. And as much as I want to use this today, I have like a ton of them. Like I have so many. I think I'd rather do a fun one with you guys, which I also have a lot of. So we have like some Sailor Moon ones, these Pokemon ones that Max got me, which are cute. More Pokemon ones that I got. Some cat ones. Ooh, this Death Note one. We also have these like Hello Kitty ones, which I've actually never done. So maybe we'll do Hello Kitty one today, or should I go for the Death Note because it's sort of terrifying. This one might actually be fun and sort of weird and scary because they never turn out how you want them to. You think that they'll be so cute and everything, but they always look terrifying. Maybe we'll try to go for Ryuku. I think I picked this one up in Lofto, Loft in Tokyo. See in the mirror, I have not cleaned yet. Let's try this and see how terrifying it is. Ooh. So this face mask is the sort of gauzy kind. But this one actually doesn't look as scary as I thought it was going to. Oh, this one's pretty cool. Okay. This one is not as scary. It looks so much more terrifying on the package. So this is not nearly as scary as I anticipated. I'm a little disappointed. I thought it was gonna be weirder. The ones that are really scary are the Pokemon ones are the ones that have like little eyes that flip down. Those are scary. Maybe I'll do one of those next time. Okay, now time to clean the house as Yuka. 
And we made it to Saturday. Did a shoot this morning in the studio with Chris and Carol, who are one of my photography clients. As usual, it was really fun. Today we did maternity photos. Afterwards, got some other work done, and then spent the evening watching the Linked Horizon Shingeki no Kiseki stage show. Linked Horizon is a musical group that was started by the composer and artist Revo, and he compiled a bunch of people and made Linked Horizon, which does collaborations with different companies, usually anime. So Linked Horizon did all of the music for Attack on Titan or Shingeki no Kyojin. Linked Horizon also originated from Sound Horizon, which is a sort of what they call metal opera show that is also ran by Rebel. And to be honest, I didn't know much about it, except that they are sort of like telling stories. And I also knew that the Attack on Titan songs on the album is more like a storyline type of thing. Um, so it's not just a concert for Attack on Titan, it's more like a stage show. It is so cool. It's really exciting from start to finish because everyone who is performing and playing music, they have a full orchestra, they have a full choir. They're all professionals and they are really, really great on stage. I highly, highly recommend watching the show. I'm gonna link it below in the description. What was extra exciting is in one of the songs, there is a melodica solo. If you don't know what a melodica is, it is this. It is an instrument that is like a piano and it makes sound by using air. And what is amazing about having an Attack on Titan song use the melodica is that it reminded me of this video that I made with Xanda and Justin like two years ago. Xanda got me this melodica for my birthday and it came in the mail one day and I had these Attack on Titan face masks. So I originally was just going to make a fun little video for Xanda so I texted her while she was at work and I said I got my melodica and also do you have a skin colored shirt? She was like, hold up, are you going to do something with Attack on Titan? And I said yes and she said I'm coming home right now. So she came home on her lunch break. Justin was also at home because he works from home. And we did this literally during Xanda's lunch break really quickly. And yeah, that is how that video came about. It's still one of my favorite videos. It is so weird. The face masks are so amazing. I got them in Japan at Rofto, at Loft. Um, I don't know if they still have them, like I said, it was a couple years ago. But yeah, totally fun, and when I saw the melodica in the stage show, I was like, oh my god, it's a melodica. That about wraps it up for the week. Thank you so much for watching this weekly vlog. I'm sorry it was sort of boring and minimal because I'm sick and I just stayed home this whole week, basically. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see other vlogs, as well as other videos on Japan, Japanese food, and travel. I think next week I might have some cat stuff for you, so that'll be fun. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Matane!